What's up guys? Test drive time, 1965 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck, 305 under the hood. This one does have power steering. Needs a fan trail so you don't hurt yourself. Motor seems to be pretty quiet. Manual brakes. I like the wheels, I like the style. Two-tone paint job with the wood and the bed. Pretty clean truck. Should be an easy test drive. Detailed pictures, finance, and shipping, all available at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we leave, we'll check out the interior. Thing's super clean. The cold start this morning was that easy to start it up. I never touched the gas. We did move it last night before we left the lot. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? There is a button up under the dash here, and I may end up cutting the truck off just in case that's a start button. Sometimes they'll hook it up like that as well. Tack is coming up. Engine temperature. It's warm. Good oil pressure. The same radio in my car. Yeah, this one's not cutting on. Show you the mileage. And really though, think about it. It's a 1965 model. Wipers? Yeah, they work. You gotta play that game, you cut them off and they shut off. You can cut them off right in here in the middle of the windshield. Yeah, I've got kind of good at that game. Across the dash. I like the shifter. The shifter's clean. Good pedals. Turn signals. It is blinking over there in the corner. Let's see if I can show that off. Over here on the right side, it is blinking on the right side as well. Okay, we'll try the horn. Did you place your bets? It's not working there, but just in case this is a start button. <laughs> see? We started up with that too. That's not a horn button. See why I tried that? What's this though? That's a switch. Broken switch at that. Horn though, not doing anything. No spring. Let's hit the road see what else we can find. Brand new seat belts. Gas gauges, reading E. We're going straight to the gas station. The door, you do gotta shut it firm. Now it's flat. Go. Roll it out. Our steering feels pretty good. Nice and smooth. Should be a tight fit up here. I'm going to say I'll have to move the cone. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fit. Sometimes I'll have to push it, but I'm going to move the cone real quick. Make sure the shifter seems like there's reverse neutral and drive. All right, shifter here got me a little confused. I'm hoping that's not second gear, but we're about to find out. Okay, that's drive there. This thing's going pretty straight down the road. Still more of an Intel Cruiser. It's not a 70 mile an hour vehicle. Just gonna click it up once. Make sure and it did shift twice, so. Yeah, neutral, drive, back in the throttle. Kick down is not hooked up. That's our passing gear. See, it's got plenty of fat. Getting back into brakes. 
they feel like manual brakes they're working smoothly speedometer is accurate and working missing a visor over on that side vent window a little stiff that's plexiglass somebody's replaced that they put a piece of plexiglass back in there Accurate, but once you get up to about 30 mile an hour it's 15 off for the lower speeds it seems to be more accurate I don't know what's up with the speedo cable I'm gonna say it needs repair we'll go ahead and pull in here get about $20 worth of premium fuel that way I don't run out of gas throughout the test drive today and I tell you what nice day to be riding around in this old truck I'll see y'all in a minute Okay, I put like $25, $26 worth of fuel in this ride here. Yeah, almost $27. And of course, we'll check that gauge. Let's see if it works. All right. It does work. Yeah, we were almost out of gas. It's time to keep rolling. seat belt go <laughs> threw it up under the mat I did my walk around we checked everything out this truck is packed with new stuff there's the new bumpers new grill new carpet new seat do got to firmly shut that door the paint looks fairly new I like this truck staying cool with a awesome uh, 40 pounds of oil pressure at idle there let's go ahead and find reverse there we go There we go. Finally feeling the clicks in the shifter there. At first I couldn't really feel them. I guess I was going too slow. I just need to be a little bit more rough with it.
smooth going down the road. She's got a great sounding exhaust. Again, the Speedo is definitely off. We're not going 60, we're going about 35. She's just a cruiser. This truck's very easy to drive. Okay. Nice little bump coming up in the road right here. Just smooth. And I'm getting ready to pull into the lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very simple, easy to do because there's not much wrong with this truck. And I think you'll enjoy the walk around. That was also very easy. And it just kind of shows off the character that this truck actually has. It's not gonna be around long, I can tell you that now. Thanks for watching. Here it comes, picking out the flaws. Okay, hopefully that wind will calm down a little bit and not destroy the audio on this video. We're gonna be walking around this, looking for chips, scratches, and flaws. Detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. New chrome on this baby. Nice and clean on that grill and the front bumper. That's right. The paint on this one's nice too, but there's a couple of little spots there. Up here, you got some rubbish. Let's go down the side. Looking at the tires, plenty of tread, nice wheels, up and over. Coming on down. She's beautiful. Hanging a little bit, not bad. Not bad for the year. Around these fenders. This paint job is beautiful, guys. A little overspray there on the white under the windshield, under the weather stripping. Your front window, other than little bugs right here, I'm not seeing any crazy chips. Paint run. Overspray. Did a little bit of that. Both of these are now plexiglass. And that thing is super loose, but and locking it is a little difficult here. It's not lining up exactly right. It's locked now, but. A little bit of pitting on your mirror. Chrome has got some pitting on it too. Spot there. Looking at the cab here, in good shape. Spot there, chip, look up top. Down in the bed. spot there 
Coming around the back. Bag bumper's been replaced too. New chains here. Tailgate on this one. Beautiful. There's a chip here, new little spot, spot up top, the corner here, a little weighty. chip here in the back a little bit of pitting on your door handle little specks of overspray there up top here too that should come off should be able to get that off pretty easily somebody's painting around it I guess pitting cracked up vent window seal overspray Front windshield on this side, just some bugs. That's all I'm really seeing there. We've made it around the outside of this vehicle. Let's go ahead and check out that interior. Opening up the door here. Spot there. And around the whole entire door here. New gas tank. Seat looks great. Beautiful seat in this truck. Hit that key. Pressure, good engine temperature. But look, if you just barely shut the door, it hangs. To give it a good firm shut, it shuts good. quiet up under here.
it's shut. Guys, this is a beautiful truck. I've enjoyed the test drive today. Be sure to check out the detailed pictures inside out and underneath. I don't think this one's gonna disappoint. You can also get some merchandise from us. We got all kinds of new shirts out. Just jump over to maplemotors.com, click merch, or look below in the description for additional information and, of course, the link to the shirts. All right, I'm heading back, grabbing another car, doing another test drive. More to come. See you later.